Sky News presenter Sarah Jane Mee, 44, has come under fire after she mistook a Chris Cobham march in Trafalgar Square for royal crowds marking the death of the Queen. Sarah has taken to Twitter to personally apologize for her major reporting error, with Sky News also commenting on the incident. Sarah took to Twitter yesterday to apologize for her rookie live error earlier in the day. She wrote in view of her 196,000 Twitter followers, I made a mistake on air, I wrongly identified crowds in Trafalgar Square as some of the 1000s heading to Palace when at that moment it was people turning out for Chris Caba. I'd like to personally apologize to those involved. We are covering the march and its significance later today. Sick. Sky News also released the statement, We apologize for a mistake made earlier today which accidentally misidentified aerial pictures of a protest march for Chris Cobb as a large gathering paying tribute to Queen Elizabeth. We have also issued a correction on air to clarify the footage previously shown. Footage from a helicopter showed a mass of people moving through Trafalgar Square in central London yesterday afternoon. Sarah said over the coverage, There are thousands of people lining that route, it really is an incredible sight. They'll work their way up the mall, very slowly, meeting new friends along the way, talking about their journey here, their memories of the Queen, their good wishes for the new King. However, in fact, it was a protest for Kaaba that included politicians Diane Abbott, Bell Ribeiro Addy and rapper Stormzy. Some protesters were even holding placards reading Justice for Chris Kaaba and Black Lives Matter. Kaaba was 24 when he was shot this month by a Met firearms officer in South London, even though he was unarmed. He had been traveling in an Audi that was not registered to him when he was boxed in by two police cars in Streatham Hill. He was shot once by an officer while sitting in a car and died in hospital on Tuesday. The Independent Office for Police Conduct has since opened a homicide investigation. Despite Sky News' apology, many social media users took to Twitter to vent their anger over the mistake. Matsa Edwards said, So having misrepresented a march against suspected police brutality as a group of royal mourners, in what way will you make recompense in terms of a public apology? Mustri Tabagud added, Did you not notice their placards then? With Black Lives Matter on them? There were plenty of them. That didn't make you think it might not be a pro-royalty march? While Tory Fibs commented, credit to you for personally apologizing. Your editors let you down. Supporting the latter Sean Fred added, appropriate apology for genuine mistake. Nicely done. To err is human, to forgive is divine. Sick. 